All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing another career re-simulation here on NHL 21. Last week we did Sidney Crosby and this week we will be recreating Alexander Ovechkin and making him eligible for the 2021 NHL entry draft. From there on out we are going to see who drafts him and then simulate his career and compare it to what he has done so far in real life. While the new Ovechkin we create enters the league we are going to leave the real OV as is and record his stats once he retires. Basically we will be seeing if he can live up to what the real Ovechkin has done so far in real life as well as what he finishes off with in the game. This is the Ovechkin build I created. He is at an 86 overall, but don't worry, I promise you he will end up growing. Now we're going to assign him to a team overseas and send to the 2021 NHL entry draft and see who picks him. So in the year before the new Alexander Ovechkin comes into the NHL, the league sees the Dallas Stars winning the Stanley Cup and here are the awards. Some of them include Kaprizov with the Calder, Alexander Ovechkin, the Maurice Richard, and Ben Bishop as the Conn Smythe winner. So here in year number one, the real Alexander Ovechkin adds another Maurice Richard trophy to his resume. The New Jersey Devils do go on to win the draft lottery and with the first overall pick they do select Alexander Ovechkin first overall. At the beginning of the next season Ovechkin made the New Jersey Devils lineup out of camp and even increased up to an 89 overall. He will be starting off on the first line at left wing playing alongside Nico Hichier and Michael Frolik. Once again he is an 89 overall with high franchise potential and has some very high stats to start off with. The grade 8 is heading into the NHL with 97 offensive awareness, 95 plus shooting stats, 90 deking, the list goes on and on. Now let's sim the first year and see if Ovi can win the call there and possibly help the Devils get another Stanley Cup. In their first year with Ovechkin, the New Jersey Devils have a good season that sees them finish 11th in the NHL and making the Stanley Cup playoffs. The playoffs are a nightmare for the Devils as they get swept by the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round. Ovi's rookie year saw him score 49 goals and 29 assists for 78 points in 75 games. He did not appear in the playoffs due to being injured and increased up to a 90 overall. In the offseason, he won the Calder Trophy as the league's best rookie. The Devils decide to go all in for the cup here in year two as they finished 13th in the NHL but at the trade deadline traded for Dylan Larkin. Sadly come playoff time it doesn't do much as they lose to the Leafs in the first round in seven games. Ovechkin has another amazing season, this one seeing him score 60 goals and 34 assists for 94 points in the regular season. In the playoffs he was a beast and had 8 goals and 5 assists for 13 points in 7 games. He increases up to a 95 overall and wins the Maurice Richard trophy. New Jersey has a huge season finishing third in the NHL and making the playoffs for the third straight season. The playoffs are more of the same though for the Devils as once again they lose in the first round, this time to the Washington Capitals. The real Ovechkin sadly isn't a cap anymore and is a Golden Knight so the two did not get to face off in the playoffs sadly. Regardless, the new Ovi absolutely exploded this season and had himself 70 goals and 47 assists for 117 points on the year. In the playoffs he had another 5 points in 7 games and remains at 95 overall. In the offseason he once again takes home the Maurice Richard Shard Trophy and re-signs with the Devils on a four-year deal worth $10.5 million per year. Also, the real Alexander Ovechkin retires and finishes his career off with 1,478 games played, 891 goals, and 714 assists for 1,605 career NHL points. You definitely know this is a video game because there is no way in real life Ovechkin would retire just four goals off breaking Gretzky's record. The Devils fall off a cliff in year number 4 as they miss the playoffs after finishing 25th in the NHL. Despite the poor season for the team, Ovechkin still has a huge season with 62 goals and 28 assists for 90 points on the year. He increased up to a 96 overall and captured another Maurice Richard trophy. The Devils get even worse and fall all the way to dead last in the NHL. Ovi once again as an individual had a great season and this one saw him finish with 56 goals and 36 assists for 92 points on the year. He remains a 96 overall and wins another Maurice Richard trophy. Year 6 is a rough one for the Devils as they finished 16th in the NHL, but with how good the East was, it wasn't enough to make the playoffs. Alex Ovechkin put up 58 goals and 37 assists for 95 points on the year. He remains at 96 overall and in the offseason takes home a ton of hardware, including the Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy.
New Jersey finally made the playoffs again in the last year of Ovechkin's current deal as they finished 14th in the league. The playoffs are as good as they can be as the New Jersey Devils win their fourth Stanley Cup in franchise history. Ovechkin does not win the Conn Smythe as that goes to Nico Hischier. Speaking of Ovechkin, he put up 54 goals and 38 assists for 92 points in the regular season and in the playoffs had 23 points. He once again stays at 96 overall and won the Art Ross and Maurice Richard trophy. In the offseason, the Devils don't seem to have the cap space to keep him and he ends up signing with the St. Louis Blues on an enormous seven-year deal worth a little more than $15 million per year. St. Louis in their first year with Alexander Ovechkin finishes fourth in the NHL and make the postseason. They matched up with the Dallas Stars in the first round and fell to them in six games. In his first year wearing the note, Ovi potted 61 goals and 40 assists for 101 points in the regular season. In the short playoff run, he ended up having nine points in six games. He still remains at 96 overall, and you guessed it, wins another Maurice Richard trophy. The Blues take a bit of a step back in the regular season as they finish 14th in the league but in the playoffs make more progress than last year as they lose to the Wild in the second round. Ovechkin's regular season saw him score 53 goals and 24 assists for 77 points on the season and in the playoffs had 8 points in 11 games. He remains at 96 overall and does not win any awards for the first time in this simulation. The Blues for the third straight season are in the playoffs as they finished 11th in the NHL and they met with the Edmonton Oilers in the first round. In that series, they end up losing to them in six games and have a pretty disappointing run. Ovechkin had a massive season, scoring 66 goals and 32 assists for 98 points in the regular season and in the playoffs had seven points in six games. Like always, he stays put at 96 overall and takes back the Maurice Richard trophy from Nathan McKinnon. So 10 years into the new Ovechkin's career, he has played in 813 NHL games, scored 589 goals and 345 assists for 934 points so far. Along with these insanely good numbers, he has himself a Stanley Cup, the Calder Trophy, 8 Maurice Richards, 2 Art Rosses, 1 Ted Lindsay Award, and 1 Hart Trophy. At this point in the real Alexander Ovechkin's career, he played in 760 NHL games, scored 475 goals, and 420 assists for 895 points so far. He also won the Calder Trophy and had himself an Art Ross, 3 Ted Lindsay Awards, 3 Hart Trophies, and 5 Maurice Richards. So up until this point, it looks like the new Ovechkin, who got to spend most of his career so far, with New Jersey's young core ended up having the better first 10 years in the NHL. Now let's see how the rest of the simulation plays out. The Blues continue to be a good regular season team as they finish 14th in the league but again struggle to put together a deep run come playoff time. This year saw them barely get out of the first round and then losing to the Chicago Blackhawks in the second round. Ovechkin's regular season sees him finishing with 85 points after scoring 56 goals and 29 assists. In the playoffs he was very solid with 12 goals and 4 assists for 16 points. He remains at 96 overall and wins another Maurice Richard trophy. The Blues for the fifth time with Ovechkin make the playoffs after another solid regular season. The playoffs again see them not make it past the second round, this time after losing to Vancouver. Ovechkin once again broke the 60 goal mark this season as he had 62 goals and 33 assists for 95 points. In the playoffs he had an additional 14 points and remained at 96 overall. Ovi has another huge offseason and for the second time in his career takes home the Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy all in the same summer. The Blues fell off a cliff in year 13 and finished dead last in the NHL. Despite being on the worst team in the league this season, Alexander Ovechkin still managed to put up 80 points after a 55 goal and 25 assist campaign. Like every single year, he stays at 96 overall and wins the Maurice Richard. The Blues in the offseason added Connor McDavid to play alongside Ovechkin and it immediately results in a third place finish in the NHL. The playoffs are better than usual this time around but they still fail to get the cup as they lose in the Western Conference Finals. Ovi definitely clicked with McDavid and in his season with him he scored 64 goals and 40 assists for 104 points in the regular season and in the playoffs had himself 16 additional points. The 33 year old 96 overall beast does have to make more room on his shelf as he again takes home the Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross and Hart Trophy. Also this was the last year of his current deal and in the offseason he re-signs with the Blues for four more years.
The Blues make the playoffs as the final seed in the Western Conference, but in the end it doesn't matter as they go on to win the Stanley Cup in 7 games over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ovi for the first time in this sim did not lead his team in points, but he still had a good season with 49 goals and 38 assists for 87 points in the regular season. In the playoffs he was clutch with 21 goals and 11 assists for 32 points, which sadly still wasn't enough to win the Conn Smythe. At 34 years old he still is a 96 overall and wins another Maurice Richard trophy. The defending Stanley Cup champion St. Louis Blues finished year 16 as the 11th best team in the NHL. In their attempt to repeat, they fell in the second round to the Minnesota Wild in a four-game sweep. Ovechkin is back as the team's leading scorer, and this year had him finish with 51 goals and 36 assists for 87 points. In the playoffs, he had another 6 points and remains at 96 overall. He once again wins the trophy that should be named after him at this point, and also, this season he did break Gretzky's all-time goal record. The Blues have a great regular season, finishing third in the NHL, first in their division, and first in their conference. In the playoffs, they go on a decent run, but they do lose in the Western Conference Finals to the Anaheim Ducks. Ovi has a monstrous season, scoring 62 goals and 46 assists for 108 points. In the playoffs, he has a great run with 12 goals and 6 assists for 18 points. He remains at 96 overall and steals the award show once again. St. Louis is still competitive as they finished 13th in the NHL and again made the playoffs. For the second straight season, they lost in the conference finals to a California team, this time the LA Kings. Ovechkin is doing so good to the point where it isn't even fun anymore and he had a 71 goal season along with 33 assists for 104 points on the season. In the playoffs, he tore it up again with 25 points in 20 games. Ovechkin still is at 96 overall and wins the same four awards as last year. In the offseason, he signs again with the St. Louis Blues for two more years. Year 19 is the St. Louis Blues finishing 13th in the NHL and making the playoffs once again. At this point, if Ovi's on your team, you're basically always going to be in the postseason. This year's playoffs though, they do not see the Blues go far and lose to the Dallas Stars in the first round. Ovechkin finishes his regular season with 50 goals and 53 assists for 103 points and in the playoffs he had a goal and 3 assists for 4 points. He drops to a 95 overall and wins the Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross and Hart Trophy for the third straight season. At the trade deadline, the St. Louis Blues in year 20 traded Alexander Ovechkin to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ovi helps them finish 7th in the league. In the playoffs, the Leafs go all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, but sadly lose to the Minnesota Wild in 7 games. With the Blues, Ovi had 35 goals and 40 assists for 75 points in 62 games. And with the Leafs, he had 14 goals and 18 assists for 32 points in 22 games. In the playoffs, he was huge for Toronto and had 31 points. He drops to a 93 overall and wins just the Art Ross this season. In the offseason, he decides not to retire and signs with Toronto for two more years. In their first full season with Alexander Ovechkin, the Leafs finished ninth in the league. For the second straight season, they make it to the Stanley Cup Finals and again fall just one game short. Ovi is still just unstoppable and had 61 goals and 51 assists for 112 points. In the playoffs, he had an additional 33 points and dropped to an 89 overall. In the offseason, he once again wins the Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. The Leafs finish on top of the league as the President's Trophy winners, but come playoff time, don't make it out of the second round. Ovechkin played in 77 games this season, and in them scored 52 goals and 42 assists for 94 points. He did not appear in the playoffs due to injury, and dropped to an 87 overall. He wins one more Maurice Richard Trophy, and decides to call it a career and retire. So in 1,794 NHL games, the new Ovechkin scored 1,271 NHL goals and 829 assists for 2,100 points. He broke the all-time goal record and stands at second all-time in points. He won two Stanley Cups, one Calder Trophy, seven Hart Trophies, seven Ted Lindsay Awards, nine Art Rosses, and 19 Maurice Richard Trophies. This simulation was absolutely insane, and I even had the scoring engine on medium. This Ovechkin is arguably the greatest NHL player of all time and outdid the real Ovechkin who played 1,478 NHL games, scored 891 goals and 714 assists for 1,605 career points. He won one Stanley Cup, one Conn Smythe, one Calder Trophy, one Art Ross, three Hart Trophies, three Ted Lindsay Awards, and 10 Maurice Richards. So there you guys have it. This was honestly beyond unrealistic, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know who you guys would like to see next, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.